one variable is bad enough, how do you solve proportion problems with two variables? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And when you have two variables as opposed to one, it does make the problem seem a little tougher. But once you know what variable you want to solve for, you just treat it like any other algebra problem as long as you're consistent with your strategies. So here's a basic example as to how to do this. Suppose you have one proportion, 3 over x equals to 4 over y. Now, let's just suppose your directions are solve for y. So that means you have to get y by itself. But the thing is, because you have two proportions, you still solve it the exact same way like you would normal proportion problems, and that is via cross multiplication. So for example, take the x, multiply it with the 4, so you will have 4x, and then take the y, and then multiply it with a 3, so you have 3y. Now, since your objective is to solve for y, you want to isolate the y term. Now, because the y is being multiplied with a 3, you want to get rid of that, so you want to divide both sides by 3. So as a result, the 3's will cancel, and you have y is equal to 4 thirds x. And then, since you solve for y, you are finished. Now, if the directions say solve for x instead, and you have the same problem, you still do the cross multiplication, so your terms will still be the same. So you have 3y is equal to 4x, but this time you want to solve for x. You want to isolate the x term. So being that 4 is being multiplied with the x, you would divide both sides by 4. And so as a result, the 4s will cancel, and you're left with 3y over 4. And that is what x will end up being. So whatever variable you want to solve for, as long as you follow the rules of cross multiplication, you can solve proportion problems with two variables. I'm Jimmy, and that's a glimpse as to how to solve proportion problems using two variables.